RSVP Maker is an events plugin for WordPress that lets you promote your events on a calendar on your own website, as well as on email and social media. Accept RSVPs or registrations for those events, and collect payment via PayPal or Stripe. There are lots of opportunities for design customization or functional enhancements like this Toastmasters extension for meeting role sign-up. Here I want to cover some of the basics of setting up individual events, recurring events, and series of events like events within a larger conference. And particularly some updates to the user interface. I used to have drop downs for year, month, and date. Um, and I've changed that so that you can just type in the date. This is based on user experience research as well as my own feeling about how to do it. So when you type in the date in plain language, it'll be converted into the numeric format that actually gets recorded to the database. Uh, and vice versa, if you make changes to the numeric format, you'll see the changes to the text format. Uh, same thing for setting the, the end time for an event. Uh, we have a number of other options here. Do we want to collect our SVPs? Do we want the time zone to be displayed? And do we want a convert to my time zone, which is important for online events? Now we can edit the body of one of these event posts the same way that we would for a blog post. We can add images and so forth. And we could further edit if we changed our mind about the date. We could change it on that little calendar widget there. When we go out to see this, we can see it in our own time zone, which is important, particularly for online events. And we have the registration form down the bottom. Now, another thing I might want to do is set up an event template. This is for events that recur on a specific schedule, such as meetings of some organization that happen on the first Monday or every Monday or the second Tuesday. So for this, we set up what we refer to as an event template. And it works sort of the same, except that you're, you're specifying a schedule that, rather than an individual date. And here we do use the drop-down list to specify the hour and we can set the end time and for the, the Toastmasters application we would have these interactive widgets in the body of the post so here I'm just going to post in my boilerplate agenda for one of these neighborhood association meetings. And what this is going to do is we want to stamp out a cookie cutter series of these events and then we can modify individual ones as we need to. So we've got the projected schedule according to first Tuesday. We can check off individual ones or check them all off. So we just add them as a batch and we can go out and edit individual ones. Or also from the summary screen here, we can see an individual one, and maybe we need to change the date of this one. Our meeting space isn't available or whatever. Uh, and so we can change that. We're using the database format here, but it does tell us what the effect of that is, that it moves it to a different day of the week. And we can specify that that's also going to be a longer meeting and update it here. Now, one other option comes in handy for a series of events. As I said, it could be something like sessions within a conference. So this is a, a multiple event post screen. And here, I'm actually going to use an example I found out in the web of a generic template. And we'll just copy and paste some of these things into this format. And so think of this as the experience that you might have 
maybe somebody from the marketing department has just sent you an email that has the schedule and you might actually be copying and pasting some of this content uh, into the format we're just trying to get it into a format that the database can sort and the, the program can handle so i'm going to set the start time for my event i'll we'll see all the other events down below will change to to match and then we can just put in the specifics for each block of the event. And some of them are just going to get a, a headline. So this is the breakfast and registration portion. Same date, different time. We have the welcome. And the first session. There's a multi-day format, so eventually we get down to where we have to change the date from the 23rd to the 24th and put in the time. And we're also going to classify this as being part of the annual conference. And we'll publish rather than saving as a draft. And these have all been now created. We can edit them further as needed. So we can add an image. We'll align it to the right and make it smaller. And I also want to add a speaker bio. But I'm going to do it after a, a more tag. You see this also used in blogs where you have content that's only viewed if you click to see more. So this is the speaker biography. And I'm just going to put in some placeholder text. That feature works nicely with the schedule block that I've created. So this is an alternative to the RSVP Maker upcoming events calendar. Uh, here I'm going to filter it down to display just things that are in the annual conference category or event type. And we'll see that we have our event displayed here. And we can click Read More to see if we want to see the, the speaker's longer biographical details. And suppose this is being held as an online event. This might be a big thing in 2020. We can add the Show in My Time Zone widget here. And if I click that, all the times in the agenda will update to match what I want to see for Eastern Standard Time. And if we look at this on mobile, it looks pretty good. That, that image should probably be a little bit smaller, but the show in my time zone and the show more for the speaker biography both work. Now, another thing we might do actually is create a, a separate event that's just for registration for the event. So this is set up to be a two-day event. It just says click to see the full schedule if you want to see all those other details. Now, if we look at all this in the calendar format, it potentially looks a little bit crowded with all those sessions and events, including the five minute breaks showing up on the calendar. So what we might want to do is edit our calendar display. So this is the standard RSVP maker upcoming. And one thing you can do is exclude a certain category or event type. So I'm going to exclude the annual conference events, uh, which does not include my, my registration promotional event. So we can still see the two-day event with the RSVP button, and it could include some extra um, promotional copy, of course, beyond what I've got showing there. Uh, but slim it down to just the details that people need to see so they can come in and register and attend your event. RSVP Maker is a free plugin available in the WordPress.org repository. The support also available through the WordPress.org forums. Customization services available on request.